Before the transatlantic cable, communication between Europe and America was only possible by ship, which took 10 days at minimum. Submarine cables were used in smaller bodies of water, but laying a cable under the Atlantic was an extremely daunting task. The initial transatlantic cable was laid by the Atlantic Telegraph Company in August 1858. The first official message on the cable was sent by Queen Victoria to President James Buchanan. Sadly, the cable remained operational for less than a month. In July 1865, the Great Eastern set out from Valencia Island to lay cable under the captaincy of Sir James Anderson. Unfortunately, the cable snapped after 1,900 kilometers, and the end was lost. Despite this failure, the Anglo-American Telegraph Company was formed with the goal of laying a new cable and repairing the broken one. The Great Eastern set out again in 1866, this time captained by Robert Halpin. Despite thick fog, the cable successfully reached Newfoundland on July 27th. Halpin took the Great Eastern back out to locate the lost cable. It took several weeks for the crew to recover the broken cable. Bringing it on board took a further 26 hours, but it had remained operational. New cable was spliced to the broken end, and the Great Eastern returned to Newfoundland. The cable transmitted 8 words per minute, using Morse code, a dramatic improvement. Halpin's two cables were soon joined by others, and by the end of the 19th century, Britain, America, France and Germany all owned transatlantic cables, forming the basis of a global communication network.